Hello folks, uh, again I'm here. So this is uh, uh, 2019 October November paper 1 2 and the question number is 16 and this uh, question is concerned with the uh, chapter of pressure uh, and up thrust and so on. So it says that uh, as you can see from the diagram actually uh, you can make a guess. So it says that uh, uh, wooden cylinders floats partially submerged in a bath of water. So this is water. I didn't use any colors because I didn't like it took a long time actually. So water, water, uh, a wooden cylinder floats partially. So this is the uh, first diagram here. It is floating partially here, floating partially. It, that means it is in equilibrium. Uh, then in the second figure, we have got a force F is applied to the cylinder until it is just fully submerged. So it is just, it has just dipped or it is, it has just drowned into, into water. So in technical language, we call it as submerging actually, immerse and submerge. So immerse means coming out and submerged means going down, just it has gone down. So now we have to analyze which statement is not correct. So we have to analyze which is not happening here. So let us go to the first one uh, and we uh, always know that uh, uh, a floating body always displaces a certain amount of liquid, liquid which is equal to its own weight. So it is a state of equilibrium and we are disturbing the equilibrium here actually. So number A. Some of the water gains gravitational potential energy. So I made a shortcut because it might go beyond the board uh, so, and I didn't want to decrease the height of this thing. So that's why I used the shortcut there. So it says that some of the water gains a gravitational potential energy. This is true. Why true? What happens is, so if, uh, so this is an equilibrium state uh, during floating. So what happens is, if I press it here, some of the water will rise up, will rise up. So some water here has to go down, go down to accommodate it and because of the that property of water, it uh, transfers force and that's why some of the water around that thing will come up. So water will come up here and go down here, it has, it has gone down here. So some of the water, overall water will have its potential energy uh, gained. So some water here will PE decrease but the water here will have PE increased. So more water will have their PE increased, that's why this is a correct this is a correct statement, so that's not our answer. Number B, the cylinder loses gravitational potential energy. It's true. It's because by applying that force, we have decreased its height. So if I consider uh, this as the ground or maybe this as the ground, that mgh part, h part has decreased. So the cylinder loses gravitational potential energy is a true statement, correct statement. So not the answer. Number C, work is done by force F on the cylinder. So work is done by force F on the cylinder. It's true because it is already in a state of equilibrium. So we are disturbing the equilibrium. So that is why this force has to do some work. It has to exert some effort so that uh, uh, that thing goes away from the state of equilibrium. That is why this is also a true statement and it is also not the answer. And number D, work is done by the upthrust on the cylinder. As you know that upthrust is the force acting here, acting in the upward direction. So. So here we have got upthrust here, it is true, it is true, but here it is not doing the work. The work is done by this force. So it is not, it is not being done by the upthrust at this moment, at this moment. So however, if we leave this thing, if we leave this force or this force is uh, removed, at that time this upthrust will be bringing it upward. So at that time it, it might do work, but right now it is not doing any work. It is not able to do any work, so that is why this is a this is an incorrect statement. So the answer is which one is not correct. That is why D should be the correct choice and all others are not the answers to this question. So uh, finding such uh, incorrect choices is slightly difficult because uh, they do, uh, when we pronounce them, they do tongue twisting and when we attempt them, they do brain twisting. So that is why it's, I feel uh, a bit difficult when I deal with such uh, situations. So anyhow, we have got the answer. This is the correct answer.